time for the video of the day. I'm your host, Craig. Welcome. Got a few minutes here, so I thought I'd throw a video together. I said I was going to try. I was going to try and do more videos towards Christmas. Of course, um, my video studio is broken. The the clip that holds the phone uh, it broke. <laughs> I think from opening, closing, opening, closing, and using it so much, um, it eventually just wore out. Um, if you're watching and you know where to get one of those, and I know that my wife knows where to get one, because she got one, my daughter got it for her, I could really use one of those. Um, but I, I saw something on Facebook about um, kids that can't afford lunch. When I was a kid, out through junior high school, and even in high school. Um, not so much in high school because I didn't really eat lunch. I was able to just skip lunch and be all right. But I always took my lunch to school. I was brown bagged it, you know. Um, so I, you know, I, I'm having a, I'm having an issue understanding that, but. Then I understand that, you know, there are some families that can't even afford, you know, bread and peanut butter and jelly, you know, and, and a cupcake, you know, for the kid to have for lunch. Um, can't afford, you know, a milk. Now, when I was in school, a little carton of milk was, I think 25 cents is what they got to. I mean, they might have got to 50 by the, time I, by the time I graduated, but I don't know because I didn't buy milk in high school. So I don't <laughs> but I remember, I think they were like 25 cents. It was the last one I actually remember paying for it. But they actually have people that are willing to pay for some of these kids to have lunch. And these people are getting in trouble? Why aren't you out there getting mad at people that are handing money to these people that are standing out, with the, out by the freeway with a sign that says, Homeless and Hungry, please help? Well, they, they're just as bad as the other people, right? You know, we all need help from time to time. I've been there. I've done that. Okay? I've needed help. And I've gotten it. And I got harassed for, for some time when, when we were getting food stamps and stuff. Um, I got harassed about that. But you know what? I got it. And then I got off it as quickly as I could. I didn't stay on it. That's what it's made for. But back to the lunch deal. Why would you why would you deny a child a lunch when somebody's willing to buy it for them? They're not asking for anything in repayment. They're not asking for anything, you know, they're not asking for the child to, to do anything. They're not really doing anything illegal. The lunch is still getting paid for. What are you complaining about? It's like you go to make a payment on your credit card, and they want to know your they want to know your 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 pin number and your social security number and you know your mother's maiden name and all this other stuff. Why do you need to know all that for me to make a payment? If you would like to make a payment on my credit card, you are more than welcome to make a payment on my credit card. Come on, people. Why are you bashing people for wanting to pay for some young person to have lunch at school? There was a big to-do some time ago about, about uh, all these kids that, that, that were in debt and they couldn't move on to the next grade because they had debt from, from times that they charged lunches. There was actually, I believe it was actually, there was actually seniors in high school that they wouldn't let graduate because they owed a debt. And people were willing to pay this for them. And then people got in trouble for doing it. What the hell? Look, if somebody wants to buy me lunch, I am more than happy to accept. If I want to buy you a lunch and you don't accept, you're dumber than I look. Yes, I said dumber than I look. 
And let me tell you what, that's pretty dumb. <laughs> anyway, I know I'm probably look pretty silly with my Santa hat on. I just got, I, I used the glitter pen to put my name on it, but the glitter pen didn't work real well. Oh, the Christmas tree worked out all right. Yes, I had one eye closed. It was easier to see that way. <sighs> anyway, I usually do that during the holiday season. I get my I get my stocking cap out, my Santa hat, and I got the little it's got the little ball on the end. I just have it in the back, <laughs> more comfortable that way. But this year, I, I bought this one. Uh, I bought a large because I can actually put my headset on underneath this hat. <laughs> but uh, for those of you who didn't see on Facebook, I have lights all across my my truck here. It goes up in there, goes behind the curtain over there, and uh, I don't know how that looks. I didn't even I didn't even see it. Um, it goes in behind the curtain over there and goes into the back, and I got uh, a few feet of it in the back. But uh, that's that's what comes from having a power inverter. <laughs> In any event, um, I will tell you this: I have a grandchild who will be going to school the next, you know, six years or so, five six years. And if y'all want to buy his lunch, I don't think his parents will have a problem with that at all. If you all want to pay for him to have a school lunch, I don't think his parents are going to have a problem with that. Not a problem at all. So. I, I just think it's goofy. It's the holiday season. It's it's a time of giving. Um, I can look out across the way here. And you can see, I think you can see over there, the red and green lights on the docks. Okay. Strings of street lights, even dock lights, blink of bright, bright red and green. As the guys load the groceries without caring. <laughs> That's right, they don't care. If you have ever pulled Walmart dedicated, you know they don't care. The GM don't care either from what I've heard. I've, I've heard some stories about GM. They, they have stuff they just literally throw it on the back. And, and with ours, I, I, have, I have seen some of the most amazing things. I've seen boxes of eggs just crushed. Just crushed into the front of the truck. In any event. Alright, well, like I said, it's the holiday season. And uh, we're going to start rocking and rolling with some videos. And I'm going to probably do them a little more often than I used to. Just because it's the holiday season. So get out there and enjoy your holiday season with friends and family. And until next time, this is your host of the video of the day. Greg the Crazy Trucker saying, see ya!